Welcome back guys to my channel. So today we're going to be creating responsive design using the auto layout wrap feature that was introduced in Figma. So I have this column here on the desktop. I'll drag it to the tablet. You notice we have two columns. So this is very responsive. And then I will try and drag it to the mobile screen. And you see I have one column. So if I should take this from the mobile screen back to the desktop, you see it maintains the four column. To follow along with this tutorial, I've made the file available in the description below. Just click on the link, open it. So you click on the open in Figma file. So yours will be duplicate. So you're going to create a duplicate. So once you've done that, you can click on the files and then you have your files. So this is the file I'm using. So it's recommended that you use the same file so now this is the environment that we're going to be working on so i have my tablet set i have the desktop and i also have the mobile set up here and we have our cat item on the screen so the cat item i put them in a group but we want to make sure that this is converted to an auto layout so you can click on the plus sign or you can use the shift a to create an auto layout so i have all my cards in an auto layout so now having this we need to click on this wrap future here for us to be able to use that future so i'll make sure that i'm clicking on the wrap future so here that's just the alignment so i would be placing all my items to the center so now once this is done i'll click on my screen and then click on the local variable so you click on create variable, I will be selecting numbers. So here the variable name will be brick points. And uh, so I want this for multiple device. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. So this is going to ask me to move this file to a team. So I already have a team created. If you don't, there is a new team there. You can just click on it. So now I'm going to move this to a new team. So there are situations whereby if you go back to your variable and try to add the mode, it will still tell you to move your files to a design. So you just have to close your Figma and then open it, relaunch your Figma. So now on the first mode, I will change that to desktop. And then the second mode here, I will change that to tablet. And then the third mode, that will be my mobile. So now here I'm going to set the width for the desktop. I'm using one, two, seven, three. So this width, I'm not just picking a random width. I will show you where I'm getting this from. So if you look at um, our screen, let me adjust that. Okay. So now I have, if you look at the width, I have one, two, seven there. So I want that should be the width for the desktop. That's my maximum width for the desktop. So for my tablet here, I am going to set that to 6. So I'm going to set that to 626. So for the mobile, I'm going to set that to 303. But let's see why. If you look at the size of the item here, the width is 303. So for mobile, I'm just going to set that to 303 so that we can have one item per column. So we can close this and then we are done with the responsive setup. So the next thing I want us to do here is we want to now apply the responsive setup. So here you click on the width and then apply variable. So you see we have the responsive breakpoints. That's the one I created. So now you see automatically from a hog, it's now fixed. So now I can drag this to this desktop here. But if you look at it, I'm not having any visible change here. Because the desktop is actually big and then it's taking all the items there. So I just need to apply the variable on the desktop. So I'll click on the icon opposite the layer so i'll select desktop this time so now we've already set that for the desktop and that is how we want our role to be so now i'm going to drag this row and drop it inside the tablet 
but you notice at this point it is not responsive so we need to apply the responsive that's the breakpoint on the tablet so i'll select the tablet and then collection then this i will set that to tablet you see automatically i have my items will align in two columns i'm just trying to adjust it so that it fits so now the next on our list is the mobile so i'll drag that to mobile so for the mobile you notice i'm having my item in the full row that's because we haven't set the breakpoint on the mobile so to do that i'll select the mobile click on the icon then i'll set that to mobile so now i can try to center okay, select that and center this so we can adjust that a little so you see we have our items and i think i will just adjust the design a bit so that we can see the full list so here i'll just adjust the handle that a little bit here so adjust that a bit so you take and uh, the good thing now is this design is responsive if we move it back to the tablets it adjusts automatically the way we want it take it back to desktop we still have this design responding to the screen we are selecting we move that back again and then on the mobile so please if you like tutorials like this kindly subscribe to my channel and uh, if you're and already subscribe up, please leave a thumbs up. Thank you.